Hi students, in today's lesson we will discuss another topic from object oriented system design subject. In our last lesson we have completed our discussion on an important topic which is building high quality software. If you guys have not seen that video then I would just request you guys to first watch that video and then come back to this video. You will get that video in the playlist. And uh, one more thing I just want to tell you that if you guys have not yet subscribed this channel then do subscribe this channel so that you will get regular updates of my upcoming lessons and watch this video completely and if you guys like this lesson then don't forget to click on like button okay so now let us come to our topic which we'll be going to cover in this lesson and that topic is use case driven approach of system development so it's a way of analyzing the system and designing the system where we diagrammatically used to draw the system behavior and the interaction between the user and the system so for diagrammatically representing the interactions between the user and the system we use the concept of use cases okay so with this approach it becomes easier for the development team to represent the system completely and to demonstrate the system to the client so with this approach of use case the development team can easily convey or represent their design or display their design to the client and client will also able to understand what is the complete system which the development team is trying to develop because this use case diagrams can be easily understandable by anyone okay so that's why we are going to discuss this concept of use case driven system development Okay, so now let us try to see what is this use case diagrams are all about. Is a use case is a sequence of actions performed by one or more actors and by the system itself. So what is the meaning of this definition is a use case is a sequence of actions, okay, interactions. Whenever we use any software, what we used to do with that software, we used to perform some actions. We start interacting with that system and based on the interaction system will also provide us the data okay so now here performed by one or more actors okay so it's a sequence of actions and those actions will be performed by the users and also by the system and by the system itself so it's come it's completely a way of representing the interaction between the user and the system in the form of a sequence using diagrams okay so this process of designing the system using a use case driven approach consists of following activities or following steps now the first one is identifying the actors okay so the first thing so if we want to design a system using use case driven approach then first we need to find out the actors who will be going to participate in that system okay and i have told you the actors are the users who will be using the system okay if you take an example of a library management system in the library management system who are the users who will be interacting with the system okay the actors will be librarian admin co-admin uh, students lecturers okay so these are the actors involved in the case of library management system so first we need to find out the actors for that system now the next one is identify processes of the system okay so processes in the sense activities what are those activities or features by which the user will be going to interact with the system that also we need to identify so in the case of library management system what would be the activities like allowing the admin to register in the system and then allowing the allowing an admin to log in to the system and then registering the students students registration okay and then faculty members registration allocating books to students and lecturers okay so all these are the processes or the features or the activities involved in library management system and now the next thing is which is the third one is develop the use case okay so based on these processes or activities now we have come to know who are the actors which are involved in the system and what these actors will be going to 
do with the system so based on this data we need to draw a use case then we have to prepare an interaction program okay we have to list it down how users will going to interact with the system and how system will going to interact with the users all those things we have to figure it out we have to list it down by using following tools like collaboration diagrams okay so all these things will be going to cover in our next lessons regarding collaboration diagrams okay and then we have to develop a uml class diagram as well and finally we have to iterate and refine the system until we get satisfied with the system so this use case driven approach is all about determining the actors involved in the system and what operations those actors will going to perform with the system and in return how system will going to interact with the user okay also it's all about determining all these things so with the help of an example we will further try to understand this concept of use case driven system development approach okay so now here on the board i have drawn the use case diagram for atm system and with the help of this example we will try to understand what are the interactions involved between the user and the atm machine and we will try to analyze this problem using the approach of use case driven system development okay so now here you can see in just few minutes back when i was explaining you the concepts of this use case driven approach i had told you that this involves actors okay and actors are the participants who interact with the system and here you can see these are the actors okay this is an actor and this is an actor okay so these both are the actors and this is our system atm system and this external body you can see is our boundary this is the boundary of our system and these are the processes of our atm system so these are the two actors this is the user who will be going to use various processes of this system and there is another actor who is the technician so the roles of this technician actor is related to maintenance and repairs if anything goes wrong with the system then this technician actor will come into the picture and perform the activities on these processes these two processes okay so when everything is okay then this actor or which is a user will come into the picture to perform these operations and what are those operations and processes check balances deposit funds withdraw cash transfer funds and apart from these processes there are many other features or activities involved okay so in this way we can demonstrate the interaction between the actors and the system so here you can see there is a bank and this bank has complete control on these processes as well as the actors okay so with this use case driven approach what we have come to know is this use case driven approach allows us to understand the system better we can easily come to know what are the interactions between the user and the system and how system will going to respond with the user's queries so this type of diagrammatically representing or analyzing the system using the concept of actors and use cases will help the development team to analyze the system and that is the major purpose of studying this subject which is object oriented system analysis okay and here you can see we are using the objects actor is an object this technician is an object this bank is an object okay and we are using these objects in this diagrammatic way to analyze the system okay so that is what the meaning of object oriented system design where we are diagrammatically representing the interaction between the user and the system using the concept of use cases and using the concept of objects okay so i am sure you guys have understood uh, what is use case driven approach of system development or system designing 
okay this is everything about use case driven approach or use case driven system development approach so that's all for this lesson guys i will see you guys in my next lesson and thanks for watching